Good morning and welcome to Children's Moment. Do you find it easy to wake up in the morning? Hmm. You know, we've had an extra long summer and you may have gotten used to sleeping a little bit later. But now that school's starting up, you might have to start waking up earlier. Well, some people wake up easily and others find it harder to wake up. There are lots of different ways to wake people up. Many people use an alarm on their phone to wake up. Other people may use an alarm clock to wake up. Some of you may be woken up very gently by your mom or dad. They'll be rubbing your back and talking softly to you. And then there are other people who sleep very soundly. And they may need to be woken up with something like this. <laughs> you can wake up just about anyone if we make enough noise. However, no matter how much noise we make, I don't think we can wake up someone who has died. That would be impossible. But did you know that there is someone who could even wake up the dead? His name was Jesus. And in chapter 11 of John's Gospel, we can read about how, Je how Jesus' friend Lazarus died. And by the time Jesus got to his house, Lazarus had already been dead for four days. Look, see how sad his sisters are? Of course, no one else could bring him back to life. But Jesus called out, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came back to life from the dead. Now his sisters are so happy that he is alive. Jesus said in this story, I am the resurrection and the life. Well, there's another story in the Bible where someone else is resurrected, and that happened on Easter. Who was resurrected on Easter? Yes, Jesus was. Remember how surprised the women were who found the empty tomb on Easter morning? When Jesus says, I am the resurrection, he's saying that he has power over death. He proved it by raising Lazarus from the dead and then proved it again when he came back from the dead too. The next part of this I am statement is, I am the life. Not only does Jesus have the power to overcome death, he has the power to give us life. So as Christians, sometimes we could be so excited about heaven that we might forget to live full lives here on earth. But we should be excited about heaven, but we've got to remember that God gave us life here on earth too. And when Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life, he is saying that he has the power over death so that we can live forever with him. And he has power over life so we can be happy and do good things with him and for him now and forever. Now that is good news. Will you all pray with me? Dear God, Thank you that Jesus has the power to wake up people from the dead. Help us to remember that he is the resurrection and the life. Be with us as we follow him and trust that nothing can separate us from his power and love. Amen. Thank y'all for joining me today. I hope that you all have a wonderful week.